Hi, hello, and welcome to another vlog. You are joining me on a productive day as a full-time content creator here in New York City. I thought it'd be fun to give you a little bit behind the scenes of what it's like when I go out and film one of my YouTube videos. And today's sponsor is Surfshark VPN, so more on that later. But for now, New York City is thriving today. The sun is out, it's gonna be 60s. I have on my favorite white blouse and my lipstick has a bit of pink in it because I was feeling spring. It is like the first really nice couple of days after having a bit of a winter dip again. So excellent news for us. We're starting our day at a cafe I've never tried, which is generally how I approach my me days where I take you guys along in the city. I just open up Google Maps and I check where all of the to be visited pins are saved. And this week we've built up quite a concentration in the West Village. So that is where we are. Also, because selfishly, I love the West Village in spring. All the trees are blooming and I'm just so excited for the general vibe and chillness of this area. So we are going to have lots of things to see today, but before I get stuck in, I do need to do some life admin work. This is pretty common. I generally have emails to answer and content to complete. So I am going to sit my butt down at this cafe, enjoy some caffeine and get this work out of the way so that we can be fully exploring and offline for the rest of the time. done with my matcha yet though because I'm really enjoying this. This is one of the few drinks that I like with oat milk and it just so happens that this cafe only serves oat milk so I made a wise choice. Honestly the number of laptop friendly cafes in New York that also have public Wi-Fi are so clutch which brings me to today's sponsor Surfshark VPN. Surfshark keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all of the information sent between your device and the internet, which protects you from big companies and cyber criminals who are trying to steal your personal information. We all know how convenient it is to log in at a cafe or a restaurant or the airport just to send that quick email or watch our favorite show, but public Wi-Fi makes you vulnerable and I am married to somebody who used to work in cybersecurity at a tech company, so bitey senses are out, we need to be careful. I am not sacrificing my online safety for a latte, so I lock it down with Surfshark VPN. Surfshark is so affordable, so there are literally no excuses, and you can secure your privacy for an extra three months free using my code, so I will leave that here. I'll pop the QR code so you can scan it. You can also check all of this out in the description box. But it's not just for business, it's also for pleasure. You can swap the real location of your device with a fake stand-in one. There's a whole list of countries to choose from and that's how I enjoy my favorite German shows that I miss from childhood. I just set my country to Germany and boom, I can watch Netflix, which I do heavily during these really boring admin tasks. So don't forget to click the link in the description box for this amazing discount. And thank you so much to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Now we are going to head to do a little bit of shopping. Yeah. 
we've stopped by the friend's house as one does in the West Village and I thought I'd show you my outfit real quick. I am wearing this thin cotton top from a brand that I will link below, Theory Blazer, because it was giving transitional a gold denim. Oh, no, nope, can't do that. Converse, white Converse. Matcha, always part of the outfit. Tote, because it carries so much stuff. And actually, there is Grove Court right behind me. So let's take a peek if it's pretty for spring. So sometimes brands pay me in credit, partially for a job that I do, and I have a credit today to spend at a brand that has a store on Bleecker, so I'm excited to do that. I'm also excited because these are just the casual views as I'm walking around the neighborhood, which is amazing. So many blooming trees. I love it. success I had stocked up on some staples and now I'm headed to a really cute shop to get some greeting cards because we've had some very exciting developments in our family recently my brother-in-law is graduating college he is the last one in our generation to get his degree he's also the youngest so he's finally done and I have a family member who got engaged I don't know if I'm allowed to say who but I'm I'm beyond excited. It was like a full-on family WhatsApp conference. So the happy couple will be in town in a couple of weeks and I really want to get a card and then I need to think about what else I'm going to get them. But let's start there. This shop is really cute. I've been there before. ready for a snack and Dante's martini happy hour is on from 3 to 5 so I'm thinking if we can get a table that would be very enjoyable I brought a book with me out today and I haven't been there in a while so let's see if they have space for us so the solar eclipse is happening right now which is interesting I'm trying not to look up it's not good for your eyes but it does definitely look dimmer here so very strange last week it was an earthquake today it's a solar eclipse
hi, hello, hi. Those of you who've been around for a while will know her, but this is two drinks, Chantal. Two martinis. I don't usually ever drink them because I hate them, but at Dante, I love them, weirdly. They are amazing, I highly recommend, and especially I recommend Martini Happy Hour because they are $10 each, not 20. So, definitely tastes better on a deal, but the Dirty Martini is my all-time favorite. I did try the Espresso Martini, which is not on the Happy Hour menu, but for research, because that is the one that I will opt for if I'm out. Amazing, flawless, so good. So, highly recommend. Like I said, now the last place on my list is cookies because I feel like taking some home to my favorite people and there is a place that I have not been to but have had bookmarked that I'm going to check out. I have to try. They're known for pie crust cookies, so I got the apple pie crust, among others. Yep. That's so good. Super sweet, but really good. And I got the Nutella, too, for at home. And I think I'm gonna love it. So this very much hit the spot. Check it out if you're in the area. They have two other locations around Manhattan, too, so. If you're in Tribeca, I think, and there's one more. Very delicious. Luca is going to be so excited. That is it for me. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and got a little glimpse into what a productive day for me looks like as a content creator. I would say it's about 30% life admin and emails and shipping deliverables. And then for these rare days where I get to go out with you guys, once or twice a week, it's mostly just exploring. And, you know, I feel like it's my weekend. It's my solo time. I get to try new things and see New York City and take advantage. So I really appreciate that you guys helped me make this happen. I would love to hear how you spend your chosen days in this city. If you are a local or some favorite things, rituals that you do if you're a visitor to New York because I always love to try new stuff. Thank you so much to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring today's video. Again, I have left a link in the description box, so check them out. Stay secure as you're traveling or working from coffee shops, and I will see you again next time. Bye.